My name is Titi Ojo, and I'm the Exporter Voices Lead on the Trade Policy Workstream of the PDF Bridge Program. Advocacy is key in trade policy reforms in so many ways. First, that's the medium through which the voices of the people can be heard. And when it comes to reforms, indeed, the people are paramount in that process because there's a lot of change that we're looking to see in the export space. Then we saw that gap, that we needed an organization that can be an umbrella for everyone and we can speak with one voice. We only had one capacity building training for trade associations and the feedback was amazing. Of course, it opened our eyes to see that trade associations also need to, there's a lot of parts to trade associations that need capacity building. And we're glad that we were able to do at least one. Of course, beside that, there's been frequent conversations between us, our team, and leaders of these associations. And we believe that uh, what we're going to be doing with them will even transcend this program, really. But we're hoping that opportunities will also come up and we can do more for trade associations in the future. Well, we might say, some people say in Nigeria we don't have trade policy. No, we may not have modern day trade policy document, but we have trade policy. But some of the things we have done, including assistance to the NASG when they were doing evidence-based study on uh, uh, AFCFTA has gone a long way to show Nigerian government the potentials that the country has to shape trade policy, to shape how trade facilitation should work and to shape how um, you know, trade development should be. Uh, some of those studies like Made in Aba, uh, Made in Aba study showcase the potentials that can come from ABA in terms of what can be done to export formally. We know in ABA, they, 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 actually, they actually produce like uh, 52, 50, 52 million uh, pairs of shoes in a year. And bulk of these are, are being sold outside Nigeria. Traders come in, they pick, they, they, they change their money, buy and go to East Africa, West African countries, uh, up to Central Africa. So this shows that, it shows government the role of formality, that a lot is happening. How do we capture this? The man that produces, for example, in Aba, would not need to smuggle or struggle through the land border and struggle to export his wares or her wares to, say, Botswana. Now, because the barrier to that is this tariff will be eliminated. What PDF Bridge support has done is to accelerate and engage the small and micro, small and um, medium scale businesses. The Alaba man business, the, the man in you know, show the trading, the business, the organized private sector, those that were consulted, both small and medium. I understand that even the, 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 the focus group that, that was organized, how these small businesses come together to express their views and experiences on what they expect the agreement would, would give them. Without PDF Bridge support, this wouldn't have happened. And maybe we wouldn't have even had the agreement in the first place, ratified in December when it was done. Without the PDF uh, Bridge program, a lot of what has been achieved, a lot of the evidences that threw up the fact that Nigeria should go in the direction we are going in AFCFTA wouldn't have been possible. Because uh, I've been in trade policy space, I've not seen any core thinking around, around what we are doing to help the government to achieve, uh, the, 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 to achieve uh, issue of signing, because we contributed to signing uh, the ASVTA, we contributed to ratification. Now the implementation, we, we are providing strategy to the government to uh, implement uh, AFCA, FTA in a way that the, go, the country will maximally benefit from the, from the, from the, 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 the initiative. I've had a very fantastic working opportunity with um, PDF working collaboration and uh, the, the program has supported the work of my agency a lot. We attended uh, the stakeholders forum, uh, the South East Stakeholders Forum in Enugu. And I was able to interact with um, experts in the field, uh, listen to the presentations that were made and all the people that came on board, Dr. Alaba and all the facilitators. And it brought together the players in the Southeast for 
uh, SME development, for uh, trade and commerce and all of that. And we were able to all interact. And PDF gave uh, some uh, advice on how we should proceed, collaborations, working together, and additions, things that should be done to strengthen the uh, work of our agency. And we were able to strengthen the quality aspect of the work that we do, hence the Abia State Marketing and Quality Management Agency. And I owe that largely uh, to PDF, the concentration on quality uh, to enable the marketability of products that are made in ABBA. We discovered that we had a lot of interventions at the ports for the needed uh, face masks that we, we wear every day and realized also that we had very, very little local capacity, you know, to meet um, demand. So immediately what we started to do was work on boosting that local capacity, ensuring that women and youth and pretty much micro and small enterprises that were ready with um, potential capacity can be supported, you know, with business development and access to finance to help them ramp up, either ramp up productivity or even start afresh and uh, produce to scale so that we can meet demand. For starters, we had about 20 tailors in the pilot phase whom we uh, provided uh, about 12 million Naira, uh, which we provided to them because note that, again, like I said earlier on, nobody had ever produced face masks or PPEs prior to this. And I can tell you confidently that those pilot batch that started this production that became our model, uh, uh, you know, producers for these items, they've all grown their businesses. They've all grown from small five, ten machine, one shop uh, uh, concerns to factories now. We've been producing a lot, thousands of face masks. I started producing face masks sometime in April 2020. Give or take, we were producing over 20,000 face masks every other week. Then I received an order for face shoot. Since I already make face cap before the COVID-19, I had to create a pattern for face shoot. I made like three different designs and face shoot and PPE, everything was about 8,000 pieces I delivered for um, during the COVID-19. We did an average of 20,000 pieces of face masks. Then we did an average of 15,000 pieces of face shield. We did an average of 50,000 pieces of both coverall and protective gown. We also impacted uh, employment figures and numbers in Abia State because this entire enterprise and this entire project was able to lead to over 3,000 workers being absorbed uh, in Abia State by all of these tailors because of their expansion. I told you we started with about 20 tailors, but it soon grew to over 100 tailors. We are all, uh, you know, working. And of, of course, Aba, you know, has over 200,000 tailors at every point in time, single clusters, different areas, one-man shops and all of that. So what the people that we affected were in the thousands. Now, I can give figures for the ones we worked with directly, but of course there were those that took up what we were doing without necessarily recursing re back to us. They went solo and they went to find their own market and they supplied. So I can confidently tell you that the uh, community, the tailors that we affected by the work that we did are easily in the tens of thousands. Before COVID-19, I, I had only six staffs. At the end of the day, I had 14 staffs working for me, totally. Yeah, when we started producing face masks, we had over 17 staff. But due to the increase in demand and the urgent need for us to uh, meet up with the timing, we had to employ over 20 more persons. In a very short period of time, we moved from 70 to employing 150 people. We also collaborated with the Standards Organization of Nigeria because um, simultaneously we were trying to boost local manufacturing of some essential items that we depended mainly on um, import for them, such as face masks and PPEs. So we were working with members of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria 
and um, specific entities that you know had expertise in making face masks and related um, items to get them to start to produce face masks for masks as well as uh, personal prote protective wear for um, our frontline workers. I've had a very fantastic working opportunity with um, PDF working collaboration and uh, their pro the program has supported the work of my agency a lot. I like the fact that, you know, the PDF does not bring you out, lead you on a journey and then leave you uh, hanging midway. Of course, when PDF, uh, the program was closing, there was PDF breach, uh, you know, and then the support continued too. It was through PDF breach that we were able to do the work on the network of uh, non-oil exporters uh, in Nigeria. We're still meeting, uh, the board of trustees are meeting. We're having conferences, uh, despite COVID, we're having a lot of online classes. We're having interface uh, with the Central Bank of Nigeria and other regulatory uh, agencies to ensure that uh, non-oil exporters are protected, to ensure uh, workable policies, uh, friendly and favorable policies that will lead to the growth and expansion of the export, the non-oil export sector in Nigeria. Now, all these achievements wouldn't have been possible without PDF Bridge. They've gotten feedback from a couple of our beneficiaries, and they say it all the time, that PDF Bridge had the convening power. If an individual had put up this program, they probably wouldn't have seen anybody. But PDF Bridge had that convening power, put all its weight behind every of its programs. That's one thing that PDF Bridge has done throughout its life, life cycle. It has thrown its weight behind every program. And through that, we're taken very seriously. We get the very best of facilitators. We get the very best of panelists, of moderators. And I think that has created a very good reputation for the PDF Bridge program.